As a standard for a science communicator, I have a theater degree. I also have a chemistry degree and I have a master's degree in forensic science uh, and I went on uh, to work as an analytical chemist for about eight years and now I, uh, I tell people that they're wrong on the internet with science. So there is this uh, this misconception that chemists are, or that scientists are, you know, quiet and nerdy and don't socialize very much. And fuck that! <laughs> Nobody told me I had to turn in my Doc Martens when I went to school for chemistry. Nobody told me I that I had to not double major in theater when I when I got my chemistry degree. I could still be me and get get my degrees in chemistry. I could still, when I left work at the end of the day, go out and write some. You can still be you and be a scientist. Every so often I hear somebody say, I won't eat something because it's a chemical. I've got news for you. It's all chemicals. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you learn about chemicals and learn about chemistry and learn about the food you're eating, everything breaks down into chemicals and that's just fine. It's just making sure that the chemicals you're eating are safe ones and pretty much everything in the food supply is safe. So the question comes up fairly often if GMOs are safe or not and this is gonna shock some of you. Wait, are you sitting down? Sit down, it's okay. Come, come to mama, come to mama, sit, sit. GMOs are safe. They're absolutely safe. The GMOs that are in the food supply go through at least, on average, about a decade of testing before they make it into the food supply. They're tested for safety, they're tested to make sure that they're nutritionally about the same as the ones that are in the food supply already. You're gonna get something safe when you make it in there. There are scientists that are a lot like me, a lot like you, that are making sure they're safe for you, for their family, for everyone you know. I wrote an article about David Avocado Wolf, a superfood guru to the internet. So David Avocado Wolf, uh, he calls himself the rock star and Indiana Jones of the superfood universe. David Avocado Wolf's legal name is David Stephen Wolf, uh, and he presents himself as somebody who knows everything about superfoods and nutrition. Unfortunately, that all seems to be based on, shall we say, some slight bullshit jittery um, and he's misrepresented himself in a lot of interesting ways. He claims that he went to Oxford. It turned out that he signed up for a weekend course that was open to anyone uh, and he, according to Oxford, he didn't even complete it. He's not the type of person who really is qualified uh, to talk about dietetics uh, from any licensing institution in the US. This is not the person who you should go for uh, for nutritional advice. Um, and he talks about how superfoods are the key to all health. And then he started work as a blender spokesperson saying that if you blend your food with a Nutribullet, any food's a superfood. Ah. Oh. The bullshit, it pains me. A superfood is some nonsensical marketing fuckery that people made up to make kale more expensive. Oh, sorry, you wanted more of an explanation than that. Let's carry on. A superfood uh, is some vague marketing term that makes it sound like some foods are much more than just their vitamins and minerals and, and protein and carbohydrate content. There are good things in there, but the people who promote superfoods make it sound like these things are better than just their content. They're not miracles, they're just food. And superfoods, there is no uh, agreed upon scientific definition of the term. It's just marketing bullshit. So I wrote an article on chiropractors and chiropractors have been so happy with me ever since. Um, chiropractors were unhappy with my article because I said that perhaps chiropractic is bullshit. <laughs> um, that might have been the name of the article. Joe Rogan very kindly invited me onto his podcast to talk about it and when I thought that the hate mail was dying down, suddenly that downtick went right back up and for three more weeks, and it still continues, I still get angry tweets about that article.
three forms of criticism that I got back. One was it worked for me. And you know what? I, I look at that and go, this was the type of thing I was trying to dispel. And I don't think this person read what I wrote in the article because I, I acknowledge that some people could say it worked for me, but a lot of what happens in chiropractic is massage. And it's the type of stuff that is very similar to massage because it's integrated in. And the problem with chiropractic isn't uh, the actual things that they're doing. It's not the massage type stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot of, uh, of work that isn't proven. And the fact that some of their, the motions they do in there um, can be dangerous in terms of of potential for stroke and these types of things, but the entire system isn't even based on saying we can help your back, it's saying we can heal all of your health by adjusting your back. Another was, you know, personal insults back at me saying, well, she would know if she would went, she has to do, re like one person tried saying the first thing that you do for research is you go try it yourself. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't do research on polio by licking the polio virus. Like that's not how research works. I, you know, I would know I'm a researcher. I researched drugs that you didn't hand me the Oxycontin. Okay. Like that's not a thing that they gave you the keys to the cabinet. Oh, that would have been fun. Anyways. Uh, but the third one was chiropractors, uh, just yelling fucking venom at me. I'm like, look, I wrote a thing that was peer reviewed, that was, you know, that had all the meta analyses I could get my hands on. Just refute, please refute me with data. If you show me new insights that I missed, I will, I will talk with you. There wasn't an article written like that and I would have appreciated it, but you know what, people want to yell when you challenge uh, their, their little, when you, when you poke someone's gooey center, they get really mad. And that's, uh, that's what I found I'm good at. I'm good at finding people's little, little gooey center, the thing that they get to sell their bullshit based off and being like, let's give that a poke.